And spring has sprung, and our hair and our skin are begging for a refresh. So we have Amber Barrett back from Mint Condition <laughs> Salon in Thank Costa you. Mesa. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And Amber brought us the Easter basket of goodies. So it's Amy's job to dig into the basket, <laughs> pull out whatever she thinks she'd so like excited. to know about, <laughs> and then Amber's going to show us how and what to do with it. So let's get started, I am girls. So excited yeah. about this segment. There, there you go. You. It's always fun. The makeover oh, part is always it's fun. It's so fun, and I was just I was just saying I'm such a blank canvas. So <laughs> <laughs> there's so much to work with here. <laughs> We've got options in true Easter form. I'm gonna yeah, have you. This just is really exciting. Okay, so I have a, my first question is, yes. what's the difference between BB cream and CC cream? Amy, I'm so glad you asked. This is a question that so many of my clients have, and you know, um, it looks like just alphabet letters and what is mm -hmm. what, what yeah. sense do we make of it? Yeah. Um, but just to kind of give you a simple breakdown of the differences between the two, a BB cream is gonna be, um, well, first of all, it stands for Beauty Balm. Okay. So if that gives you any idea, it's mainly just a coverage only, very light, tends mm -hmm. to be more of a translucent coverage, uh -huh. great for day-to-day -day wear. Um, don't have to do a full face if you're mm -hmm. doing a BB cream. Mm -hmm. Now the CC cream on the other hand, which stands for uh, corrective control, um, mm -hmm. is more of a color uh, a controlling for problematic skin types, has I more see. coverage to it, and then also has um, built-in UVA and UVB protectants as well as your moisturizers. Okay, so this is a little bit heavier of it's, a face. It's a little bit heavier, mm -hmm. a little bit But goes, it'll take care of more of the blemishes. Yes. Okay. So Good the CC know. cream is more of like a five-in-one product. So okay. if you don't like to invest or spend the time in your moisturizers and your primers and mm -hmm. all those things, um, that's a great product to just take oh, on the go. It is, that that's what we use today, right? It so is, yeah, actually. I yeah, love I like the it. CC cream coverage, the coverage on you. Is nice. It looks really yeah. natural. Still. Yeah, you yeah. can still see skin behind it, which is my favorite part. The whole idea is not to go completely um, opaque mm -hmm. with your coverage, mm -hmm. and and it doesn't really wear that well if you do. Mm, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, what's next? My next question. Okay, so oh, this so this palette is so beautiful. And I is this for, I'm, I'm assuming this is for like hazel or green eyes, is that correct? Absolutely. Okay. So you'll notice each row has three different color combinations. Okay. And um, this is a Too Faced palette that I absolutely love for a couple different reasons. A, they're, um, they are cruelty free, so we love that, mm -hmm. they're ethical. Mm -hmm. Um, we love the fact that they give you little cheater cards so you don't have to be a makeup oh, artist to uh, know oh, what to use, this is right? Okay, Check so look. that one out. Oh my gosh. Oh look, this is for the day. This is before I put the purple on. Oh nice. See and this that? is classic. Yeah. Oh that's classic. And so then if you turn it over, it's nice. So it gives you a day and a night look with these color combinations. Oh, I wow. love this. Now obviously you can step outside you the box more? a little bit. You to open it to get more? There is, yeah, okay. there's a couple more. So um, with this, you've got some matte colors, which uh -huh. are great for um, more your mature skin types that uh -huh. don't really want to shine like a disco ball, right? Oh, okay, I still like to shine like a disco ball. <laughs> yes, yeah, in I'm the right, of, and I'm in kind the right of over places. it. I'm kind of over it. <laughs> in the right places, a little pop of shimmer could go a long way. Uh -huh. So I like that we've combined a few shimmer colors in with here. With some matte as well. Yeah. Oh, I like that. So for you, because you're wearing a bright fuchsia top, I would probably do something right around here in this color scheme, mm. which is our uh, Pink. fashion color scheme. I see. We'll step that yeah. up a little bit for... Just give her a little okay. fresh Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Yeah. This is always the most fun part. I know. This is fun. So so we're we're doing purple, dark purple, plumish, right? So I noticed in um, both our LA and New York fashion weeks, right now, vibrancy is huge. Okay. And stepping into spring, we're getting out of those dreary sort mm -hmm. of grays and muted colors, mm -hmm. and we're popping some brightness and some life mm -hmm. back into things. So no matter what stage of life you're in, um, whether you are in your 20-somethings or somewhere in your 50s, 60s, 70s on up, um, this is something that you can really incorporate into your daily routine mm -hmm. in small amounts. Okay, this is good. Yes, yeah, so that's the key. We don't want to wear the all of our makeup at once. Mm -hmm. We want to go ahead and insert that where it's going to make the biggest impact. Okay, so I have a question about that actually. Yeah. So when, so my mom always told me, my mom, had, I had some um, 
She did pageants when she was younger. She was Miss Utah in oh. 1972, which is fun. And weren't you Miss Utah Junior Miss? Oh, it was. I actually was for the <laughs> national. <laughs> oh, she said I didn't want to talk about it. I like how you try to breeze past that. <laughs> But my, but anyway, my mom had some better, um, some some interest. Like back in the day, like there were kind of some hard and fast rules, right? Mm -hmm. And so she would say, like, as you age, you should, you should take, like, not wear as much makeup. Um, you should, you know, of course, match your shoes and your belt, like all mm -hmm. of those traditional rules or whatever. But my question is, should you? Um, wear less makeup as you age or is it more a matter of what type of makeup? You know I'm so glad that you asked that question Amy because I feel like it's something that um, well I personally have struggled with because as our skin changes and our pH changes everything sort of starts to transition into this new um, less dewy, mm -hmm. less hydrated mm -hmm. um, sort of canvas. So mm -hmm. what we really want to do is work on keeping a balance there. So mm -hmm. adding that hydration back in with mm -hmm. your skincare, with the water that you're drinking, which mm -hmm. I've got a fun little something in the basket okay. to talk about as far as that goes. But you know, um, the hard and fast rules for me, in my opinion, don't really necessarily apply to everybody. Mm. So you know, whatever is gonna make you feel the most confident and the most comfortable in your own skin, mm -hmm. I say go for it. If you mm. wanna be outrageous and pop a little shimmer in mm -hmm. every once in a while, go for it. I think it also depends where you are Time and place. Time and place. That's exactly. true. That's a really great. So if point. you're going to your yoga class, you're probably not going to well, shimmer. Although you're, you probably you'll do a full face of makeup, but you probably yeah. don't want to shimmer because you're going to shine no matter what. That's yeah. right. You're going to glisten. But if you're going out by day and you're doing your full, you know, your full badge of colored fashion, then you want to mix it up with that too. But I think what Amber always talks about is it all depends on the skin you're in. Mm -hmm. Right. That makes sense. So if you have great skin. It's all about that foundation, uh, the foundation that we're putting our makeup on. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to cover, 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 um, let's be honest, it's problem skin isn't going to go away on its own. Mm -hmm. So we need to address what th um, what the skin is missing. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, we're just not drinking enough water and we're not taking care of the things mm -hmm. that um, take care of everybody else. That makes sense. All right, love, go ahead and open your eyes. OK. Let's see. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Do we have a mirror for her? Yeah. So what I did was I used that purple. Um, okay. Let's see what color was that. I'm gonna show the camera. Yeah. I used the purple. <laughs> you know, I love so this cute. with uh, what you're wearing because it doesn't have a real intense purple color. Uh huh. Right. We don't. Because we don't, don't want to go intense and intense. We don't want to go 80s. We don't want to go 80s on it. We want I wanna one go 80s. focal point. <laughs> side ponytail. Uh -huh. um, I went ahead and used Soulmates okay. as your brow bone highlight. Okay. And I like this color because it doesn't have glitter as it does really just a nice sheen. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. that's so it's nice. a little bit more subtle. Okay, cool. Okay. Awesome. All right, next we have, I, you've got all kinds of really great stuff in here. Ooh. So like a texturizer <laughs> finish, beach wave spray. These are kind of like all in the same family, yeah. right? Yes. And uh, so we've got some shampoos and conditioners too. But let's talk about this texturizer stuff. Awesome. My 11 year old, uh, for about a week, would not stop talking to me about how she needs beach wave spray mm -hmm. until I finally bought it for her. <laughs> so tell me, what is it? <laughs> so you hear a lot about the beach wave spray, yes. right? Uh, no two curls are created equal and no two products are created equal in that mm -hmm. category either. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, what I've noticed is that some of the beach sprays have a little more saltiness to them, mm -hmm. which leaves your hair very matte mm -hmm. and sometimes even dry feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, just a matter of um, changing the approach that we're taking and mm -hmm. where we're putting those products is going to be the key in how they show up. Okay, and so just the concept of the beach wave spray is basically make it look like you've been out at the beach, right? Yes. And you've got this like wind-blown hair. Yes. And it's maybe a little coarser. Very lived in. Okay. Very lived in. Do you want and to do that? Yes. Let's you're do seeing, it. Let's do you're it. seeing do it. a lot of trends mm -hmm. right now that are very boho chic mm -hmm. and very... Um, Organic, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So we're getting away from that really polished, quaffed look, mm -hmm. um, the pageant look, right? We're getting away from that. Sadly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so I also love this because, like with Amy's hair, we've got a little bit of a, got a little bit of a smooth texture, mm -hmm. which tends to probably want to go flat on you throughout it the day. It totally wants to go flat on me. So this gives that really clean, oh, this is shiny, nice. polished look a uh -huh. little bit more. Bounce. Yeah. Oh, I love a little this more texture. I've been. I really like my hair long, but it does go flat, especially well, yeah, the longer it gets. Heavy. Right. It's getting heavier, and so. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm, now I know what to do with the beach wave spray. So now you can and it go. I'm gonna go steal amazing. it from Lizzie. So what yeah, I like to do with that good. little tip at the mm -hmm. end of my getting ready process, once mm -hmm. I've done some curls in my hair, flip it over, shake, 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 and the beach wave spray comes in handy for that. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And it smells amazing. It so does. let's be it honest, that always helps. Good. <laughs> okay. I wanted to know about how I can drink my skincare. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> okay. So I'm glad that you asked because this is a new product. This is the uh, Collagen Pop Fizz by Hum. Mm -hmm. What this is is it's a uh, marine collagen and vitamin C. It's a skin booster that okay. you can drink so you don't have to sit down and take that extra few minutes to do your process. I love uh, this With this, idea. I would recommend breaking it in half so okay. that it fits into a regular size water bottle. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Don't you do it got in your, your mouth. Yeah. Because it will start Don't to bite it in half. half. It, oh. I tried that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I, I was going to say, break it with you your know, I feel like you're speaking from experience. Break it with your <laughs> Pop it in the bottle. Don't bite it and try to break it. Okay, it so that's bottle. interesting. So does it make it taste, does the bottle taste weird? Like, does it make it, what did no. you think? Is it, does no, it taste it pretty just, good still? It doesn't taste bad. Okay. Yeah. It just tastes like water with a little with collagen. Little, little flavor. Collagen. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the flavor of collagen, collagen is. Where's the collagen water? Whatever the flavor of collagen okay, is. Okay. Well, this is really interesting. And so, and so just as a, just as an overview for, a, for the people who don't know anything, me. <laughs> collagen helps fill in your fine lines, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So our body naturally produces collagen. It overproduces collagen when we're young, mm. hormonal. Mm -hmm. um, usually the, the temperature in the room seems to be a little bit higher mm -hmm. when we've got those hormones going. And mm -hmm. so um, what it does is it actually helps to regenerate and keep that process stimulated oh, okay. as if we were still Right. Oh, that's Decades nice. And then, and then we're like mm -hmm. producing it at the same rate. Yes. Okay. You're do, you're, but you're until hydrated. that gets going, let's talk about these. Yes, Ooh, my favorite little cheaters. So this is by our Rodan and Fields. Um, okay. It's the Redefine brand. And what it is is, uh, excuse me, Sublang. What this is is a wrinkle reducing um, patch. So what? what you do, it's pretty interesting in fact. We can go ahead and bust these guys open. This, this is, is my favorite little non-invasive mm -hmm. little uh, enhancement, facial oh. enhancement. So what it does is no needles required here. Like you that. put the eye patches on at night and you can put them, I use them in my under eye area uh -huh. where those crow's feet tend to mm -hmm. kind of creep mm -hmm. up and I've I don't call those. them crow's feet anymore. They're expression lines and I've earned them. <laughs> I love that. That's a great way to say because crows are not my favorite bird. No, no. they're not friends. I could just say, I could maybe say like bluebird feet. Yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> bird feet. <laughs> put a pleasant spin on it. Yeah. So um, what these are, and you'll notice that they come in a shape that's conducive for those curvy, under eye, yeah, mm -hmm. under right eye, here. and then they also do the parenthesis as well. Oh, right here mm -hmm. too. Oh, that's a good idea. Are they single use or multi use? They're single use. Here okay. We go. And how often do you do them? Yeah, we'll do you know, to tell you the truth, I do them maybe once a week. Okay. Yeah, it's not something you want to do. It is a little bit more of a specialty um, type of product. Okay. So. Really, when you're, oh, you're fine. Fine. You, you gotta go that really way. when you're finding that you need a little extra help, maybe we're a little okay. dehydrated. Mm -hmm. We can fake it till we make it. Okay, awesome. And the cool thing about these is they're gel, so they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. You put them on before soothing. you go to bed. They're soothing. They're soft. You sleep with them. You do. You mm. sleep with them on. They work while you're sleeping. That's nice. Does Jeff so travel? You yeah. yeah, I will be doing it at that. Actually, he doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a, I'll just put him on after he like falls asleep. Falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so Aww. what I do is I just come in and I use the weakest pinky. finger of mm -hmm. my hand, which would be my pinky. Okay. And I just go ahead and press. How does that feel? It feels great, actually. 
So with these, you've got microspheres underneath, mm -hmm. microspheres that come in and pull the areas of recession in your wrinkles. So what oh. that does is it plugs right into the deepest part of your fine line uh -huh. and pulls it right back out. Oh, that's very So nice. instant gratification, which we all love, let's be yes. honest, mm -hmm. um, and it happens while you're sleeping. Doesn't That's get really much cool. easier than that. Okay, one last goodie. I know it's like Christmas. Oh, this, right? I was yes, asking what this was more. before. What is Ooh. this? Ooh. Okay, so this is one of my favorite products. Um, it's a tool, actually. It's not a product. And what I use it for is it can be. It's a multi-purpose thing. Okay. Two different things. Um, you can use it to apply a scrub to your face, right? Okay. Working in circular motions. Mm -hmm. And it, it just feels refreshing. Mm -hmm. It gets that, um, mm -hmm. the winter layer off, right? Yeah. Exfoliating. Yeah, it's an exfoliating one. Mm -hmm. You can also use it with a little soap and brush cleaner to clean your brushes. Oh, okay. that's a good idea. Kind of neat, right? Yeah. And then it's got a suction cup that you just plug it right to the shower wall. Oh, that's too. really it's nice. right there so you know where mm -hmm. to find it. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, that's really cool. Amber, thank you so much for Absolutely. coming back. Absolutely. Thank, thank you so much for having me. So Happy nice. Easter. Do you want this back for later? <laughs> we'll, <laughs> take it. We'll, we'll, take, we'll take it off. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to go buy like five different things right now. I'm sending you home with some goodies. Okay. So. And we'll be right back.